Unlocking the secrets of at higher altitudes. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase that might seem straightforward but is packed with meaning and nuance, at higher altitudes. Whether you're a seasoned English learner or just starting out, understanding phrases like this can significantly enrich your language skills. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together. At higher altitudes, refers to a location or condition that is significantly above sea level. This phrase is not just about physical height, it's about understanding the changes and challenges that come with being in such locations. It's used both literally, to describe geographical and atmospheric conditions, and metaphorically, to discuss levels of performance, achievement, or even problems. Literal meaning, in its most straightforward sense, at higher altitudes, describes places on Earth that are much higher than the surrounding areas, such as mountains, high plateaus, or any terrain above a certain elevation. This can impact weather, temperature, and even the health and capabilities of humans and animals due to thinner air and lower oxygen levels. Metaphorical use. Metaphorically, this phrase can describe situations or challenges that are more complex or difficult than usual. For example, a task might be described as being at higher altitudes to indicate its complexity or the level of expertise required to accomplish it. To fully grasp at higher altitudes, let's see it in action. 1. Literal example, at higher altitudes, boiling water happens at temperatures lower than 100 degrees Celsius due to the decrease in atmospheric pressure. Two. Metaphorical example, in her new managerial role, she's operating at higher altitudes, dealing with challenges she's never faced before. These examples show how the phrase can be versatile, enriching your English with its layered meanings. When incorporating at higher altitudes into your English, consider the following. Context is key. Ensure the situation warrants its use, especially when used metaphorically. Pair with descriptive details. When used literally, accompany it with specific information about the effects of high altitudes on the subject. Enhance your narrative. Metaphorically, it can add depth to stories or explanations, especially when discussing achievements or challenges. Understanding phrases like, at higher altitudes, can elevate your English learning to new heights. It's a beautiful example of how language can be both literal and figurative, enriching our communication with depth and precision. We hope this video has helped demystify this phrase for you, and we can't wait to see how you'll use it in your English conversations. Remember, learning English is a journey. Enjoy the climb to higher altitudes in your linguistic adventure. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.